I can't need I can't need Nix <laughs> to be adding chips in noodles. <laughs> ah! Welcome back to Basics with B and happy, 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 happy 2020 compliments of the new season. I really hope you guys had a great holiday and great festive season. Now, I was at a wedding like every weekend, literally every weekend in December and even in January, like but otherwise had a good rest so i hope you guys also really had great time with your family with your friends whatever so guys it's january right some of us got paid way too early in december or we had way too much fun in december and now it's january and we are struggling right so last week on instagram and on whatsapp i asked people what type of struggle meals they've had either at boarding school or varsity whatever it is like what kind of struggle meals they've had so in today's video i'll be trying out different struggle meals every day this week i'm gonna try the strangest ones i'm gonna try the easiest ones i'm gonna try the cheapest ones um obviously not just as a challenge because a girl is also a bit <laughs> Today is Monday and I decided to try something, to do something really easy. It might not be a struggle to some people because maybe that's all you know how to make. Today I'm making rice and mince. That's all I'm going to have tonight. But the difference is, when I was speaking to a lot of people who also said they had rice and mince as a struggle meal, is that they make so much of it. <laughs> they make so much of it that they shared with all their flatmates for three days <laughs> three days in a row they'll be just having rice and mix, rice and mix, rice and mix. so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to make a lot of rice and mince and i'm going to have that for my lunch um when i go to work but i'm obviously still going to try out different meals for dinner because i got back from work and there's absolutely no water in this flat so all i'm going to make now is mince um, I'll do like a quick show of how I make mince for those of you who don't know how to make mince. I know you're thinking, blessing, everybody knows how to make mince, but you'd be surprised that people don't know how to make mince meat. I'll probably make the rice later because I'm not going to eat now anyway. I'm just going to make the mince. Um, and guys, I know I'm assuming people don't know how to make mince. Rice, you're not. Awa, awa. Surely everyone knows how to make rice. If you don't, oh, I'm not even going to explain it. No ways. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go make the mince. <laughs> They will literally save your life. 72 cents. 72 cents for a couple of chilies that you can just add for flavor. a couple of people um what they have for their struggle meals so <laughs> one person told me that like when they're studying and stuff um and they don't have like money for like doritos or something like that <laughs> let me show you what they have 
guys so this person says one they have lettuce dipped in mayonnaise <laughs> so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it um Not bad. It literally just tastes like lettuce dipped in mayonnaise. It literally just tastes like mayonnaise with something crunchy. And hi. <laughs> mayonnaise alone is not nice though. I can't. I'm actually gonna mix the brown onion and tasty chicken and onion. Another thing I learned recently is that just because it says chicken, don't mean you have to use it only on chicken, which is really liberating, you know. the video here the mints i don't think i want to add anything else um if you're making it add salt and cayenne pepper and raja whatever as you see fit you'll just taste it um yeah but that's just like the basic 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 way of making mints the way i make it anyway so that's the end of day one and we're back it's day two um of the struggle meal challenge what what someone said that they struggle meal is pasta pilchards frozen veggies tomato sauce and chutney so that's what i'm gonna have so i have my can of pilchards right here i like the hot i don't like that tomato one that one's nonsense and i have like almost finished bag of pasta which i'm gonna be using and guys now the only frozen veg i have is this country mix and oh my gosh it's actually so full because i don't like like frozen veggies because they end up being so soggy um so usually when i have pilchards i actually have it with rice um eggs mayonnaise yeah guys trust that combo please just try it before you judge me <laughs> please just try it also i'm gonna speed through like the making of this meal because i really don't want to make a really long video you know because i am recording monday to friday i don't want to have a video that's like 40 minutes long you know yeah so anyway let's do this let the pasta keep cooking because i think it's gonna take the longest pilchers is really quick like it should be done right now um and you can actually eat it as it is like you don't need to add anything hectic but if you do want to make it like you know a bit more tasty you can add some tomato paste or you can dice up some tomatoes you can add more herbs add some raja king, you know <laughs>
let's try this. I have mixed all the what what's together. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is not bad. I... This is not bad. Like, I think I might even add more chutney just to. This is not bad at all. Okay. I'm gonna keep eating. Um, yeah, let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. <laughs> What's up, guys? It is day three of the struggle meal challenge. Right. Okay. So today's gonna be different. We're not actually having struggle meals. We're having what boarding school students call a luxury meal. So I actually had two options today. Um, two people told me um, two separate, two different meals that they had when they're in boarding school and both meals were considered a luxury. So I chose the one meal because it's the one thing that I have most access to. But listen to the other one. The other one. <laughs> no, I need you to listen to this carefully. Put on the subtitles if you need to. Just in case, like, I don't wish up. <laughs> <laughs> it's noodles, pilchards, baked beans, corned beef, and a whole lot of sauces. So then what they, what they do is they take that mixture and they put it all in a bucket. But it's not the same if you're not mixing it all in a one big bucket. They mix it all in a, in a bucket and they have it amongst like five people. Guys, I don't think you heard me carefully. <laughs> Cold beef, baked beans, noodles, pilchards, and a whole lot of sauces in a bucket. Oh my gosh. So anyway, today's struggle luxury meal is one that my cousin suggested. The one that they had back in Northern Academy. <laughs> um, so what they had were noodles, fries, as in the chips, um, pilchards acha mayonnaise and hot sauce so that's what i'm gonna have today <laughs> so i have my noodles over here maggie two minute noodles durban curry flavor the only flavor that matters i got kfc chips i think this is technically cheating because i was trying not to buy like takeouts this week but kfc is the closest thing to me so Oh well um and then i have pilchers that i made yesterday so i'm just gonna make the noodles should be two minutes <laughs> and then i will mix up and then we will taste today's meal chips, mayonnaise, and hot sauce. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let me try this. Guys, this is so wild. Chips, canoodles, little pilchards, le acha. How am I? Little barra, so good. I mean, it's not bad. It just tastes like. It tastes like what I had yesterday with um, 
it just tastes like noodles and pulchets. That's all I'm tasting. I mean, obviously, and the mayonnaise makes it like nice. And then the chips. The chips are just a weird texture, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're eating noodles with pulchets. And then chips are like, whoa, hi. <laughs> then the chips just feature. Like, yeah, no. I feel like this is a waste of chips because. I can't, I can barely even like enjoy the chips being in here. Unless Gerekide, the wrong chips. Now you're supposed to get those thick ones. Mara, I can barely even like, I really can't enjoy the chips. How are guys? Just eat bread with garlic chips. And then have pilchards garden noodles another time. But yeah, no, I mean, it's edible. It's edible. It's edible. I just, I just think it's a waste of the chips. I can't need, I can't need Nick's. <laughs> to be adding chips in noodles. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what was the purpose? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you guys try any of these meals, you must just let me know. Like, if you just try this one or any other one that I've done so far, please let me know. And while we're here, please don't forget to subscribe. Like, while you're waiting for day four to come, just just click subscribe more women. I beg you no heart. Kinning, just subscribe, my friend. Mm, subscribe. Come hello. I'll see y'all on day four. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> wow, we are on day four. Today I'm gonna do a vegetarian struggle meal. Um by struggle I mean pretty cheap and affordable. And the reason for this is, I mean, there are some people who are vegetarians and they also want <laughs> ideas for what they can do. But also because I'm, I'm trying to have more meat-free meals um, just to find more ways, just to encourage myself to find like more, like different ways to have vegetables. Like I generally love vegetables, but vegetables can be boring, guys. Let's be honest. <laughs> they can be boring. So this way i kind of find different ways that i can have different vegetables i'm gonna be having my durban curry um noodles i'm gonna have chickpeas as well guys i think these chickpeas in brine are about maybe 20 rand at the very most 25 rand i don't think it's that pricey and that, and just from this you can make like three or four meals i think otherwise you can always just buy the the uncooked ones and then cook them each time you need um your head <laughs> then i'm also gonna defrost um my spinach i freeze my spinach because it's one of the few vegetables that if it's frozen it won't like taste yuck and soggy when you defrost it so i freeze i have a lot of like frozen spinach so i'm gonna use this today because i haven't used spinach i haven't had spinach in quite some time then i'm also gonna make a quick relish with tomatoes and just some spices and salt just to give it a bit of sauciness and that the noodles aren't like too dry <laughs> Guys, this is not bad at all. Like, this is not bad at all. And I think, <laughs> I actually think I've been saying that to all the meals. And I'm so glad I've been trying them because these are such quick, easy, and affordable meals that I can have on a regular. And this is, this is pretty good. I mean, the spinach tastes a bit, you know, <laughs> like, it tastes like wild spinach. 
Um, but now because it's been frozen for a while, I don't know, but or maybe I should have done something a little more extra to it. But otherwise, all together, this tastes good. The tomato was a good idea. Yeah. Because I'm going to keep eating my dinner. Um, and then, yeah, then we'll have the last video tomorrow. So it's finally day five. Wow, a whole week, guys. I've honestly enjoyed recording every day. But I need to tell you guys, like, I am in no mood to cook today. <laughs> um one because i generally don't like cooking on fridays but also because i've had such a low day and i just want junk food you know <laughs> and anyway like are you really a struggling student if you don't spend your very last 50 rand 30 rand on takeouts hmm? i want you guys to think about that for a moment just think about it i thought so <laughs> Okay, but I mean, it is a five-day challenge that I came up with. So I'm going to cook today, and I've already taken out the livers today. So I am making chicken livers today, and the reason I chose it is not necessarily because it's a struggle, but mostly because, well, someone just suggested, but also because it's affordable, it's quick to make, and also chicken livers are a multi-dimensional queen. Like, first of all, you can make it, like many different ways like you can just fry the livers as they are you can make it a stew you can make it like very really creamy with like um cream or milk <laughs> if you're a broke student um yeah and you can have it with so many different things you can have it with bread you can have any type of bread you can have it with rice you can have it with pasta you can have it with pap you can have it for breakfast you can have it for lunch you can have it for dinner Kore, the options are endless with liver so that's what i'm going to make today and if it wasn't for that i'd really not be making anything i would just have you guys watch me eat a big ass burger or pizza <laughs> um i'm gonna make it and i just haven't decided what i'm gonna have it with i might have it with pap yo i don't know i might have it with pap or maybe i'll go get like panini or garlic bread or something yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but right now all i'm just gonna show is how to make it with the livers and then i'll decide later how i'm gonna what i'm gonna eat it with okay let's do this <laughs> for a while i added a bit of milk because i'm a broke boy and i can't afford some cream right now <laughs> um this is lactose free milk because your girl is you know so i'm just gonna show you guys how it looks so i'm just gonna let it cook and like i said i might have it with pap or with bread i'm actually leaning more towards bread um yeah i think i'm gonna have it with bread but anyway thank you guys for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you really enjoyed it guys have a great week have a great 2020 bye